So when uh, we are going to configure, uh, sorry, before creating the GL master, so we have to configure something called GL account group. GL account group is like how we are going to group our GL masters. When it will go for implementation and you will ask like customer, uh, how many GL account GL masters you have? Because already they are, they are having GL masters in their existing system. So let's say 2000 GL masters are there. And it is practically not possible to create this GL masters one by one. So testing purpose, we may create some GL masters or we may upload some GL masters, but the real data we will upload through the migration cockpit. So once we will must we will do the uploading that time we will see. But if, when you will get the list of GL masters, you will find that you uh, different group wise we have to category again this business. They don't have any group so right now. Maybe in Oracle if they have so maybe some groups are there which are not relevant for us. But if you analyze your GL masters, you will find that we can classify those GL masters in different groups. For example, I can uh, again, there is no standard answer. How many groups we are going to create? There is no standard. I can create only two groups, so I can create p and l one group and balance it one group. That is correct. I can create different groups like, for, for example, fixed asset. I can create one group a bank. I can create one group so I can create one group for equity. So different groups are also we can create. So it is basically how we are going to control our GL masters or how we are going to manage our GL masters. So there is no any standard from SAP or from the business point of view, like uh, or legal point of view. That is how many groups will be there. You must be thinking like in balance it. We are going to uh, uh, we have the schedule and accordingly we are preparing the balance. Sheet. That is a different concept. So there we are preparing or the groups we are going to prepare as for the uh, settings a uh, different settings that is your financial statement version that is a different concept even if you have let's say two groups that is p and l and balance it so in balance it i can create multiple nodes and i can add those gl masters so both are there is no link so if you are having two groups in balance it i can create 10 groups for my reporting point of view so that is different and this one different so it is basically we are going to categorize our gl master gl masters in uh, as per our need and we are going to control them. So I'm going to create GL master. So I will share the blueprint there. You can see how many groups are uh, there. OK, so in business, there are multiple groups will be there. So I'm going to create some groups. So one group, let's say we will create, for example, let's say cash and liquidity. <coughs> cash and liquidity one group we will take. We will take one group as, let's say, expenses. We will take revenue. That is one group. Then we will take asset, fixed asset. Then we can take balance it, general balance it. Right. Then you can create one group for your material account. So inventories account, whatever we are going to create. So, so no need to copy like exactly what I'm creating the group similar way you can create. You are free to create your own groups and uh, every group we are going to assign with a number interval. Already we have created one number interval that was that is for my document. So when user is going to post the document, the number will come from that range. Here we are going to create the number interval so that when super user, power user or even the MDG people when they will create the GL masters that number range will be applicable. So suppose here I'm going to take a range of 1000 to 1999. That means when user is going to create any account from this group, they have to select this number overlapping possible, but they have to select one number from this range in document overlapping not possible. If user will take the number, let's say 1000 and select the group as expense, then system is going to throw the error. So you can create different number range for different groups. So that means I'm taking this range. I'm just creating um, number intervals very less. Because I know I am going to create less number, less master records, but in reality, this value should be higher because real data will be uploaded.
4024499 and one more group i will create this is for secondary cost element this one earlier it was not there now it is there and very soon we are going to discuss this one secondary cost element for the controlling point of view so these are the different groups we are going to create now this is a general de explanation description general description but technically we are going to create four digits some codes as your gl master uh, as your gl account groups and one more thing these gl account groups are not created at company code level it is not created at client level it is created at chart of account level chart of account already assigned to the company codes so indirectly you can say we have link with company code but these are basically created at chart of account level so this group four digit anything you can take numeric alphabet anything you can take so i'm going to take this one as gas technically we are going to define with four digit alphabet and that will be your gl account group this one i will take expense maximum four so i can take three this one i will take revenue this one i will take this one general balance sheet and this one is secondary cost element so these are my gl account groups this is my description and this is my number range so these configurations we have to do transaction code obd4 then go to general settings then master data gl account define account group new entry so every screen you can see some data is there because already previous configuration data it's not scb delivered when you will go to the license system you will find that everything is blank so everything we are going to add from the scratch so your chart of account whatever we have defined that is the first column then the group whatever we have defined so we have defined the group okay so name description then numbers then chart of account and the group save it so it is categorization of gl masters controlling the number intervals for gl and one more option is there that is field settings of your gl master yesterday we discussed one field settings that was related to document so how we can control the different fields of a document but basically this one is uh, required for uh, <clears throat> fields of gl master but related to that document let me show you yesterday i was trying to explain then system issue was there so let me show you what i'm trying to say the document field settings of a document so suppose let's say i am trying to post one document not not related to current topic so yesterday the field status variant we discussed related to that okay so this is one gl account i am selecting so you can see different gl is going to behave differently suppose if i will take this account now check i'm getting one message so an entry is required in the value field for the account 1002 so that means this field in back end it is configured as mandatory so that's why i can't skip being user i can't skip this particular field so i have to enter the particular value field what is this value field again during configuration we will see but this need to be entered now if i will select a different gl uh, suppose let's say consumption account Now it is not asking me value field 
now it is asking that i need to enter the cost object so until unless i will not enter the cost object it is not going to accept here and i can enter one cost object here so both options are there so i can enter any cost object because which cost object we are going to take that is not specified but cost object is mandatory so if i will enter one cost object here An account 4009 can only okay this is again another settings that means here uh, this one user will not post any document so here in gl i will it is there that means being user i will not enter any data manually by selecting the 4009 account if any transactions will be posted then its system is going to post it so that means user is going to do some other activities then system is going to post the document so maybe it is mapped with my FIMM integration as consumption account. So with reference to production order and when the goods movement will be there, then the accounting is going to be uh, entry will be done. So it is not manual entry. So let me change this account. Let's take this one. Okay, now if I will remove this one. Okay. Again, another because of my another configuration, so automatically system is taking this value. Yesterday I was explaining about the default cost center. This is the default cost center. Uh, here, if I will take a different account where it is not assigned, maybe you can get it. Uh, let's take this one. Okay, now you can see system is asking here the cost object. So as per our field settings and as per our other configuration, the screen is going to behave accordingly. So that's why user is not going to decide what user will just follow the instruction. So as for our backend configuration and mapping different different account is behaving different way or the document is going to behave different way. So that is why this field status variants all these errors what I got here. It's not everything is not because of field status variant, but the first line and the last line it is related to field status. So that means in backend these fields are mandatory fields. So user can't skip it. They have to enter something. Either they have to enter manually or it will come automatically like in my second line. I got this cost center automatically. Fine. So I hope you got this point. What is the need of the field status uh, or any field settings? So the field will come through field status variant, field status variant having multiple field status group. As per the nature of GL account, any suitable field status group we need to assign. Same functionality also applicable here. But difference is it is also field settings, but different difference here is it is going to control the fields of GL master that is controlling the fields of document whereas here it is controlling the fields of uh, GL master. Okay, let me save it first. Chart of account. Oh, it is not working. Okay, so exactly you can see the similar radio buttons are there. Suppose you want to take off currency should be required entry, make it required entry. If it is a reconciliation account required, so you can select. So once we will configure here, then in uh, at the time of master data creation system is going to ask those fields concept is same only tools are different so that tool is going to control the document this one is going to control the gl master and no need to assign this one to your company code because it is created at chart of account level and chart of account already assigned to your company code so indirectly it is linked with that so i have created the gl master one more setting is there but i want to show you the error then we will create the uh, we will fix that error and we will create the master record. So now I'm going to create the GL master or I will try to create GL master. So let's see if I can create or any error will be there. Before that, the GL master concept, if you'll try to understand or we, like multiple master record we are going to create here. Master record is yesterday we tried to create the cost center that is also master record. 
GL I'm creating that is a master record business partner master record. So before posting any document any transaction, we should have the master record. So anything is your master record. So customers vendor material assets so all are your master record. So some master records we are going to say as our sub ledger because those are we are going to reconcile with ledger. But right now that con this concept is different. So we are going to create the master record and uh, we are going to create a GL master record. Again, it is not consulting job consultant is not going to create maybe for testing purpose. They can create some GL masters, but it will be done by mostly uh, companies uh, super user or power users or some companies that don't give any access master access to their user side. They will go for the MDG team and MDG people. They are responsible for all master record creation. GL. Each GL master is divided into two segments. One is your chart of account segment. And another one is your company code segment. Okay, chart of account segment, company code segment. Under chart of account segment, you will find one tab that is your uh, type description tab. That name is type description tab. Under company code, you will find two tabs. One is your control and bank interest. Simple language if you'll try to understand when we are going to create any GL master if anything common information because one chart of account can be assigned to multiple company codes. So two company code can share the same chart of account. For example, we are trying to create salary. So general informations like description salary for both the company code. It will be salary only both will come under the same group. It is the category. So common informations we are going to add in chart of account segment and specific informations will be there in the company code. For example, one account they are in for India operation. So we will take currency should be INR. Another one we are going to take US operation. So currency should be USD. So these segment we can't take common. This should be company code specific. So any field which is specifically we are going to use or those data we are going to use for our company code point of view, then we will keep it under this segment common. We are going to keep it under this segment and we have the table is also there. So this data will be part of your table SKA1. And this data will be part of your SKB1 chart of account segment and company code segment. This is master table. This is not transaction table. So don't include this one in your AC docket table. This will be your master table. Then in this you will find the field as GL account type. I will for your reference. I will show you the ECC screen where some deviations are there. <clears throat> but right now whatever I'm explaining on S4 I'm explaining. So this is your GL account type. The first field will be your GL account type. Technical name of this field is under your SKA one table GL account underscore type. That is the table name or that is the field name in the table SKA one. Under this GL account type, you are going to have five categories are there. If you are creating any GL master, then one of the category will be applicable. So first one is your non operating. Expense. Or income. In ECC, there are only two categories are there profit and loss balance it. So that means technically we are saying that grouping point of view may have created multiple groups, but technically there are two group two categories are there two account types are there. One is your p and and balance it. So that means if you are taking asset fixed asset and you are taking let's say equity. There is no difference. Both are same category. If you are taking receivables and if you are taking your long term loan, 
both are same category there is no difference similarly uh, your revenue and your loss both are same categories so technically only two category two types are there which is creates problem for the controlling point of view once i will come to this cost element segment that time i'll explain but technically there are two categories in ecc whereas in s4 we have five categories are there so one is your non-operating expense or income technically known as n another one is your balance sheet x primary cost or revenue these are fixed you can't delete you can't add technically p secondary cost s fifth one cash c if you are creating any gl account only for the finance point of view that means it is not part of operation whether it is a cost or your revenue it will come under your first category that is your non operating expense income i will give two example one is your sales operational income another one is your dividend earned that is your normal income so one is income generated for from operation another one maybe other income so that's why both should be created with different categories so dividend earned dividend income should come under non operating expense or income and your sales will part of your primary cost of revenue so simply we can say any item which is not part of your profitability analysis or not part of copa then we will put it under this category non operating expense or income if it is part of copa whether it is cost or revenue then that we will put it under primary cost or revenue balance it self explanatory so all items which are part of balance it that we can create under this category secondary cost put hold i will explain separately that one then cash this one actually integrated with your another module is there that is your cash and liquidity from for that point of view it is added and uh, uh, it is purely related to banking so for banking activities when we are going to create the gl master so that time we will create again it has some specific uh, functionalities are there which we are going to use for the banking point of bank and cash and liquidity point of view so these are the five options are there so when you are going to create any gl master you have to select any of the five options then uh, your own group whatever we have created here that four five groups whatever i have created so that you need to specify here gl account group this one is our own configuration so which will come from your obd four settings this group you can add you can delete in future you can do changes anything you can do okay and uh, then your description short text and long text short text means character limit here it is 20 the field name is txt underscore ml 20 and long text 50 characters txt underscore ml uh, txt ml underscore 50 so these data will be part of your chart of account segment and it is common for example if you are creating let's say fixed asset whether it is company code y or company code x it will be part of balance sheet item only okay and under group you will create or if you are having common chart of account then you will select asset only so that's why these are the common areas this part is your common areas any question on this is it clear okay now coming to company code specific so company code as i said it is specific informations related to company code only we are going to add as per the need or as per the business process we are going to add those fields yeah someone is trying to say something tell me no sir nothing nothing it's clear that's why that's what i just okay <clears throat> so i'm going to create the gl master so gl master can be created on premises it can be created from fury we will create both or uh, the system what i'm using that is 1909 so in 1909 it is my office handbook so that's why i'm using but the system what you have that is uh, 
20 2021 the latest one difference in both of us is this banking part so when i will take the bank that then at that time i will switch to 2021 system and in my system you will find this option is not there okay so this option c this one this one is not there so i have only four categories are there because this one is introduced from 2020 so what is its functionality in bank we will see in detail but right now also i will show you for the timing what you will do so i'm trying to create one account as cash account so cash account for the time being i'm going to use till the time we don't have the bank settings or bank configuration so once we have the bank settings then we will create bank master and bank account accordingly temporarily i'm creating cash account in reality cash account we are only using for the cash channel but for the training point of view, i'm creating one cash account so that i will use it for the offsetting entries so i'm creating one two account i will create one account i will create as non-operating and one account i will create cash account so i need to select here for me c option is not there cash option is not there so i have to select balance it but in your case you, if you will create a cash account you have to select something else that means cash option so be ready with your system you need to share i will tell you what you need to select so let me create gl masters first So when you are creating GL account, you can select, you can only create the chart of account segment. You can create only company code segment, or you can create the complete one that is your both options. Okay. So let me first show you the ECC one. Then we will configure it or we will create it from S4 point of view. So just for comparison, just for your reference, I'm showing this one. Anyway, you are not going to use. So I'm just showing the ECC one. From the first version, GL master was designed like this only. T code to create GL master or the navigation nodes are same. In both, it is same only. Uh, we will create it through easy access as it is ECC. And in S4, both easy access and Fury options are there. But it is not there in the IMG. So don't search in IMG. Accounting financial accounting in the, your document uh, what I shared in the folder end users uh, this configuration folder one is configuration folder is there and end user folder is there so this one you will find in the end user folder or any user activities we will do that is there in the user side so general ledger then go to master record GL account only chart of account only company code or centrally both options will be there Okay, so this one not properly coming. Let me take this one. Just ignore other things. You can see this is the changes. This one is your change. Two categories are there P and L and balance it. Whereas in my uh, in S4, we have five options are there category N, category X, category P, category S, category C. So this one, which was there because uh, in ECC, the problem was not there because in ECC we have separate table we have separate information that means if it is finance then we are only cons considering the GL master if it is controlling then something else we are considering so that's why there was no problem so finance data separate finance master record separate controlling point of view separate master record whereas in S4 it is merged so when it is merged now profitability analysis is also part of finance cost calculation is also part of finance so only two categories are not enough so that's why these other two categories are primary, secondary. So these are included and separately one non-operational category. In ACC, there is no such requirement is not there and these options are also not there. All cost finance point of view, we are going to take into p &L, whether it is part of profitability analysis or cost calculation or not. Like if it is a bank interest, it will be part of p and but it is not part of, let's say, uh, any bank small charges, which is there in your bank statement, SMS charges, something like we are getting. So this everything is related to finance, but it is not related to operation. But in ECC, we don't have such segregations are not there. Let's take a screenshot for capture comparison purpose.
full screen. Not working. Leave it, let me take it. Okay, so this one is our group. This option is coming from your OBD4, GL account group, what we defined today. And these are your account type in ECC. Now let me create one GL master through on-premises first, then we will go to Fury and we will try to create from Fury, but I know we are going to get the error because we have one pending configuration is there, but I want to show you the error first. Why in this system it is always in top creating problem? It will take some time to load, so I will log in. Navigation, T code, everything is same. Counting. Financial accounting, general ledger, then master record, GL accounts, individual processing, same option, FS00 to create GL master centrally or through only chart of account segment as the FSP0 and FSS0. Okay, let me change the settings. So when you will come to this screen, you will find your screen like this. So this will be your GL master screen. GL account you are going to add here the number and this number from where you will get you if you click here it will show you first you need to add your company code. And in this company code no GL is created so if we try to create here then no no information is there so we need to check the GL account group which is created by the consultant. So that we need to check uh, here we have access to OBD4 so we can check it. Whereas in user point of view, let's say one power user is trying to create GL master, they don't have OBD4. Either companies, they can maintain a seat or if they will give the access, then in the display mode, they can give. That means no authorization, no change option will be there for the user. Okay, so that I can get. So practice point of view, check OBD4 and here whatever the group you have created. So accordingly, you can select. So I'm trying to create one GL account right now. I'm trying to create a GL master for the category, which is GL account group cash and liquidity 1000. So I'm taking here 1000 my GL master 1000 as my number. Display, edit, create create with template block it so if gl is blocked then it can't be used for the transaction posting delete no user can delete any gl master user can just select the flag option so that developer can delete it i will show you 
So user, they don't have any authorization to delete. They will just identify this GL. They, it is created wrongly and it should be deleted provided that if there is no transactions or no records are there. Now I'm trying to create a GL master. Click on this one, create. And here it's showing that something is coming, right? So chart of account, profit and loss statement type is not there. So this error is not related to GL master. Basically, this is related to your one of the closing activity. So for that purpose, okay, why this error is coming? Once again, if you want to remember, Errors. <clears throat> if any question you are getting from this, that this is the error. So you can note it that it is return earning is missing. Return earning configuration is missing. Transaction code OB53. So what is that? Let me explain first. Suppose we have uh, we have one GL master that is your balance it item and it is machine. We have opening balance. Opening balance is ninety thousand. Then this year depreciation is let's say ten percent, which is your nine thousand. Then your closing value. Then your closing. Asset balance is 81,000. Now you tell me what you will do with this 81,000. What we will do with uh, what we will do with this particular GL account. Now it is your end. It's machine account. We have a closing balance of 80,000. What you will do? Not only what you will do. Forward. You will carry next forward. Year. That means next year you will carry forward as opening balance, opening balance. 81,000. So you are not going to close this account. This account will be continue forever till the time we have the business operation is there. So that means we can say if any balance it item, the closing balance will be carried forward to the same account. Now let's take another account. Depreciation. So depreciation, current year depreciation we have recorded 9,000. Then what we will do? It will be carry forward or what we will do? It will not carry forward. It will transfer. I'm not talking about accumulated depreciation. I'm talking normal depreciation. So transfer to P and L. And this account closed. Any expense account, any revenue account. So you will transfer to your P and L and account close. So conclusion is if any balance it item, then balance will be carried forward to next year. If it is P and L item, then it will be transferred to P and L. In manually, we are not going to do any carry forward or user is not going to do any manual carry forward. User is just going to run the program and they automatically system is going to go for the balance carry forward and this will be the screen which we will use in future. Now in this screen, nowhere you will find which account balance we are going to carry forward, whether it is P&L or balance it. We don't have such information. We are just going to take the company code or the ledger and to which year we are going to carry forward. So how system is going to identify what type of account it includes? Because two different rules are there. If it is balance it, then it will carry forward to same. If it is P&L, then it will carry forward to profit and loss through one written account. So that is why system is asking here, we need to add one indicator in case of PNL accounts. In case of balance sheet, it is not required. In case of PNL, uh, any PNL items, any income statement items, so that an indicator need to be added. That configuration is missing here. Otherwise, right now we are not doing any carry forward activity. Carry forward, we will do it during our closing process. 
But as right now we are trying to create the GL master and we have not activated any such indicators which system is going to add in your PNL category. In balance it, this indicator will not be used. That is the meaning of or that is the uh, error what we got here. So we have to make sure that the return earning configuration is required. But right now system is not asking the return earning. Return earning configuration it is not asking. It is just asking one indicator. You need to define a profit and loss statement type. If you'll check this error, no profit and loss statement account type. Account type is not defined in our chart of account. So that is why we are getting this error. So one more settings is pending when we are defining the GL account group. So in this list, start of account done, assignment done, group done, define retained earning account, OB53 transaction code. Enter your chart of account. This one is where we are going to use indicator. This one will be, you will use indicator. And this one, you are going to use the GL account. That means through this GL account, we are going to transfer this balances, p &L balances. PNL category balances, account balances, we will transfer to return an account. You may use multiple uh, return any accounts. Let's say all domestic transactions we will transfer through one indicator or overseas transactions we can carry forward to a different account. So that we can do but at least right now we have to configure one return earning account so that we can proceed further. Anything you can take here as your indicator between A to Z any later. So I'm going to take this one as X. Then it is asking me enter the account. So second column is blank. But right now I don't have any GL account and I don't have the need for that also because I'm not doing any balance carry forward. So this step we will do in future uh, before asset accounting, we need to complete it. So that time we will create the GL master and we will update it. But for the timing, just this indicator is enough. Now I will try to create GL master. Now it's accepted. So because of that indicator, it was missing. And one more thing, when you are creating any master record or any business transactions we are posting, that time there will be no TR. TR only for configuration. So once again, let's try. GL account type. So as I said, five option for me, it is four, but in your system, you will find five. So here, which one is the suitable one? I'm going to select that one. So I'm trying to create a cash account, which supposed to be cash in your system, but I will select here balance it account because I don't have that cash option. <clears throat> then account group, this is my group what I created. So I will select the suitable. Let's say I'm thinking that this, this will be part of my asset. Error, not possible. How consultant configured the GL account group. So accordingly, the user need to select the group and accept cash and liquidity. Whatever I will select, it will throw error. Because I have selected the number as 1000 and number 1000 is linked with your GL account group. Number 1000 is linked with your cash group. So I have to make sure that I will select the cash group, then only it will accept. So GL account type is fixed, which is SAP delivered account group we configured. Then description. Short text, long text, I'm taking the same. This is my type description or chart of account segment. Then go to control data. This is company code specific. Currency, account currency automatically, but by default it is coming as my company code currency INR. But if you want, you can change also. I will not change. And this account balance, I want to report in only balance in the local currency. So when I will take this total balance, it will only show in the INR. If you think like in multi-currency, it should show, then don't activate this option. Other fields, I will explain once it will come. Then sort key. So when we will take the report, GL item report, on what basis we are going to sort it? It's just sorting of the data. So you may sort the data on the basis of your purchase order, but it is not relevant for that. Any date, invoice date, posting date, cost center. So any option you can select here, how you want to sort your data. So multiple options are there. So I'm going to take here the 
posting date. Okay, then coming to create bank interest. I'm just adding the minimum fields. So because this account just we are going to use temporarily. Yesterday we discussed about field status group, field status variant and group. So whatever the groups you have that you are going to add here as per the suitable option and it is mandatory field. If I will not save it, I will not enter it and I will try to save it. No, make an entry in the field status group. So user need to enter the field status group because the rule is we have configured the field status variant. Under field status variant field status group is there. So let's say one group is Y001. This group we are going to assign with the GL master. GL master will be used in the document. So this is how it is going to work. Directly we are not going to assign the group. So the group will be added to GL master and GL master will be the document. Then whatever the rule you have set here, the same rule will be applicable to the document. Click here already so many groups we have copied. So which one you think it is better, the best option so you can select here. So it's a general account I'm creating. So I'm selecting here YP01. Saved. So one GL account created from on premises. Similarly through Fury also we can create. If you know the particular application, the group, if you know the group, you can go for a group or if you don't know the application directly, we can. So it is replacing your transaction code FS00 manage GL accounts. Manage GL master. Manage GL account master data. Since couple of days, this fury is I'm getting very slow response. So once you will check your system, let me know whether it is working for correctly. I mean, it will not that uh, smooth like your GUI because anyway, these people are not maintaining this hardware properly, but uh, it should not be this much slow, what I can see. <clears throat> so I have created one GL master from on premises so that you can check here also. Because it's a hybrid system, so both system we can see like any data it is created from there that we can access here or anything created from here that we can access there also. Okay, so this is the GL account created. Now I want to add one more plus in. So let me take a different account, a different option for creating the GL master. Let me take this one 2000. Chart of account segment. I mean chart of account field. It is a general segment here. We have the names are different, but it is same chart of account segment. <clears throat> then account type that four or five option. So this one here I'm selecting non operating. OK, so this option first let me select. Then I will come to the other option. So I'm selecting non operating. That means if any GL account I'm creating with this category, it will not have any cost object impact. So we are not going to take these values to our profitability analysis or for any cost. So that means no link with the controlling only exclusively finance point of view. I'm creating this one. Very few GL masters you will create under this category. Then group whatever we have created. So this is your expense. Even audit fee having cost center. So I will take here non operating. Hmm. 
then go to company code segment plus add your company code currency automatically coming balance in the local currency sort key posting date create bank interest fill status group okay save so two gl master created you please log into your system and be ready i need it so <clears throat> two gl masters are uh, created now this i verified uh, from fury i can see the on premises data now i want to see the fury data in the on premises so different way we can check suppose i want to see the gl masters what are created one option is if you click here you will get the number of gl masters created so this non operating is also showing here that means fury data also i can access here <clears throat> Another option I want to see the GM masters. Any report go to info segment. So under the same general ledger, I want to see what are the GL masters are created. Information system, then general ledger report, then go to master data. So here I want to see the GL account list. GLs are created at chart of account level. So that's why it is created as uh, anyway. This GL account is created with your uh, company code segment so if i will select company code also i'm going to get the same information because chart of account and company code one to one relation execute so two gl accounts are created this is the functional way of checking the data technically i want to see the gl masters what are created check the table SKA1, which is my chart of account segment. Okay, so 2GL created and it is there in my database. That means it is our own property. So it is there, although it was created from Fiori, the second 2000 GL master, but still it is there. Now see one account i created with balance sheet category so that was that is showing in your case it will a different option will come uh, <clears throat> then uh, one account is created uh, here you can see this indicator we have created that profit on the statement type indicator and i said that every p and l account should be linked with that so here it is there x then one category i selected with balance sheet so x is coming the other one is n non operating expense or income so that's why it is coming then my sort description and login description. Similarly, if I will check company code segment SKB1, try to remember these tables SKB1. So, some information related to company code you will get here. So, this is our field status. Then we have assigned the local currency, and some informations are there. So, GL master is created from on premises both the gl master now i realize that this gl account 2000 created wrongly i want to delete it but being user i can't delete it i can just select flag for deletion okay so here you have the option mark for deletion or flag for deletion so i want to delete both chart of account segment as well as company code segment that's it i can't do anything now consultant will delete it ob r2 transaction code ob r2 deleting master data any master data we can delete here but right now we are deleting now i don't know which gl master i need to delete simply i will select delete per deletion flag so i want to delete the gl account chart of account segment first system is going to check whether it is deletion possible or not 
So that's why I will check with test run because if any data will be there, then deletion not possible. List does not contain any data, deletion possible. Remove test run, delete. It is production run. Plus, sometimes maybe only we need to delete the company code segment because same chart of account segment we can or we are using with a different company code. So that's why two options are there. So one line removed. So we have only one GL master is there. So this is how we can create the GL masters. And uh, I have just created only one GL account cast. The other one what I created removed because hardly we are going to create any GL account with non operating because whenever you are going to have the cost and revenue, it will come under your primary cost and revenue. So as of I don't have any need for that non operating. So that's why I removed it. Okay. 